three-point electric jack stabilization system. Let's first get familiar with the three-point electric jack stabilization system on your Ollie. You will find one electric jack in the front of the trailer and two located behind both of the rear wheels. All three electric jacks are controlled from the front of the trailer. On top of the front jack head, you'll notice a leveling bubble that can be used to assist you in leveling your trailer. The toggle switch, located on the left of the jack head, will allow you to raise and lower the front of your Oliver. The right toggle switch will turn on a light for easier use in dark settings. The rear jack switches are located in a weatherproof box on the front of the propane tank housing. To lower the rear jacks to the ground, you will press up on the switch oriented on the same side as the jack you wish to operate. To raise the jacks back up before traveling, press the buttons down and hold it until you hear the jacks clicking. Each jack is equipped with an inline 30 amp slow blow fuse. If the jacks do not work and there is power to the rest of the trailer, the fuse is more than likely blown and needs to be replaced. To replace the jack fuses, you'll need to go inside the trailer and locate the bus bar mounted on the wheel well under the rear street side bed. Remove the cushions or bedding and remove the access panel. Pull the blown fuse and replace it with a new fuse. In the case you do not have power from your batteries to operate the electric jack stabilization system, each of the three jacks can be controlled manually using the emergency jack crank located in either the closet or dry storage compartment. On the front jack, you will need to remove the leveling bubble by twisting and pulling up. Be careful not to pull the wiring loose that is connected. Before manually cranking the jack, you will need to remove the propane housing lid to allow enough clearance for the crank to rotate. Next, simply place the crank over the jack lug located on the top of the jack and turn until the jack is lowered enough to stabilize the travel trailer. To manually crank the two rear jacks, you will need to go inside and remove the bedding in the rear. With the bedding removed, open the access panels on both sides of the trailer and find the jack heads. Using the emergency jack crank, manually crank the jacks as needed to stabilize your travel trailer. As always, it is recommended to use blocks and cribbing to stabilize the jacks and tires when setting up at your campsite or when storing for the season. The stabilization jacks equipped on your Ollie are to be used only to help stabilize your travel trailer. In the case that you might have a flat tire and need to jack up the trailer to remove and replace a tire, we do not recommend using the electric jack stabilization system to raise your tires off the ground. This could potentially cause damage to your frame or cause serious or fatal injury. We encourage you to use a hydraulic or scissors jack along with jack stands to raise the travel trailer from the jacking points on the frame. Before towing your travel trailer, Always check to make sure your jacks are raised to the highest position to prevent possible damage to your electric jack stabilization system.